ready when you are. Ready. So hello, good morning. My name is Maria, um, and I'm going to be talking about the position that I would like to be selected for. Um, so how many of you at some point in your lives have lived in an apartment complex? Everyone. <laughs> so you can see it's really common. Um, so right now I actually currently work in a leasing office. Um, I'm just a leasing agent right now. Um, but I do remember I, I got into the position um, and wanting to work in one because I remember when we moved to Florida, um, I'm from Columbia, we moved to Rhode Island and then we moved to Florida. And when we moved here, I remember living in, in an apartment complex with my mom um, and my brother and my sister. But one specifically, um, it really had an impact on me, mostly because it was our first apartment where we each had our own room, and it was just so amazing. And the experience from beginning to end was just like tremendously, like it just you you it made you feel like you were at a home. So the way that the office staff treated you know my mom and and us, even when we were around in the neighborhood, um, it just makes you feel like you're in a safe place and you're comfortable where you live. So that's essentially what jumped me um, into wanting to work in a leasing office. So um, the job that I am going for is an assistant community manager um, for McKinley. That's the company I currently work for right now. Um, and basically what an assistant manager does is handles all of the rent collections, all of the evictions, all of the um, resident issues that may um, arise. And I feel in the position that I'm in, I have had a lot of experience in that already. So when I first started with McKinley, um, I worked uh, at a pretty large property. It was around 600 units. And it was it was a little tough. I've never done this before. So it was, it was a little hard for me to get used to. And once I got moved to a lease-up property, which essentially was one of our newer properties, and we were just trying to get everything rented, so that was another big project for me. But then they kind of twisted it on me and sent me to a property where I have a non-Spanish-speaking manager, and I'm the only Spanish speaker. So it's a co it's a community that has majority Spanish residents. So it's it's I've had to deal with a lot of difficult conversations um, when it comes to rental payments and resident issues and that's why I feel like I would be good for this position because I have a lot of the experience that an assistant manager already technically needs. Um, oh, wrong button. So I like the company because the pay is super competitive. Um, looking through other jobs and the positions that they offer, it's been my job is, has honestly paid the highest um, hourly. So that's, an, that's a reason. I also like the attention to employees as well as residents that the company provides. So no issue ever really goes unturned. If I have a concern, I'm always heard out by my area manager who has been amazing throughout this whole transition for me. Um, so that's a, a couple reasons why I love the, the company as well as they love to promote within. So there's always room for growth um, in the company as long as you express interest and you work hard and show them why you're right for the position. Um, I, like I mentioned, I've had to handle a lot of resident concerns. Um, a specific one is actually, um, there was a, a resident who was giving a noise complaint and she was complaining that her neighbor and at all hours of the night, so I let her know, okay, I, like, I apologize for this, um, I would really love to help you, so if you can bring in, you know, it's really hard to take someone's word against someone else's word because obviously you can say, I'm not making noise, but you're gonna say, yes, she is, and who can I believe? So I let the resident know, as long as you bring in, like, you know, set your, like, start a video, record, and then come in and let me, like, let me listen to it so I can see, and we can take care of the problem. Turns out the resident that was putting the complaint was correct. So I, I had to call the other resident because there were two Spanish speaking residents. I had to call them in and technically, um, not technically, essentially sit them down and let them know, you know, in the terms of your lease agreement, you have to be respectful of your other neighbors. Um, you know, people have different schedules. I understand some work overnight, some work in the morning. So it really just depends. But we have to be respectful and we all, came to the agreement that, you know, the resident did have a point and everyone just kind of left on good terms and um, my manager thanked me for handling that very well. That experience was actually brought up to my area manager who um, let me know that they had put something on the website um, 
where they can put in like you know comments and stuff and they both um, praised me for handling the situation with grace and um, very um, professionally so with that um, if they did actually give me a raise because of that and they have um, not just because of that but when they added that with other experiences that I've been put through um, and tasks that I've been overcoming, um, I was able to get a raise and I've also been in consideration for a higher position than what I am in right now. Um, I may not get the job because I don't have any managerial experience and because I'm relatively young, whereas a lot of um, assistant managers in the company are typically older, which that's not a huge setback, but it might be um, you know, a cause for concern seeing as, you know, younger people, they tend to feel like we don't have that more mature of a mindset. Um, I'm a fast learner. I'm always eager to learn. I show interest in what I do. I work hard to make sure that I am, you know, always at the top of my game, even with resident concerns, with leasing, with, um, you know, making sure that my move-ins go smoothly. I make sure all my files are um, perfect. And so with property management, um, there's an article that was named Property Management May Be the Next Frontier for AI, which is Artificial Intelligence, which essentially um, there's a growth in rental demands in larger cities um, like Chicago, Los Angeles, and Orlando, which is leading to growth in property services. So they, in the article, they talk about how adding artificial intelligence can help with a lot of the predictions as far as um, trends and there's um there was a few that were talking about how if you were to add it it can tell you when like a water heater is going to go bad or when um you know an ac unit needs to be changed or when the ac ducts need to be cleaned um so it's a really growing industry so how many of you rent an apartment right now okay a couple of you so um about 844,000 people working in property management um, were in April in April of 2019 there were about 80, 844,000 and there are only there were only 281,000 companies so obviously it's a very competitive and very large industry as far as employees go um, in 2009 the vacancy rental was at 41 percent uh, which meant that there were 41 percent of the units that had to be rented whereas in 2018 it dropped to 25 percent um, so a lot of more people are renting and typically in 2016 a study showed that 65% of renters were 35 years old and younger um, and a lot of people um, in the younger range are opting to rent apartments rather than buying a house due to things like student debt or credit card debt I mean student debt is one of the largest um, reasons why more people are renting um, do you guys have any questions? <laughs> yeah. I, I had a question. What is your major here at Valencia? Business management. Business management. Yes. <clears throat> uh, one, one thing about over, overcoming the objections and everything like that for a management position, because let's face it, most people that get their first one haven't been a manager before, yeah. <laughs> is to mention, hey, I'm going to school right now for business management. Okay. And you know, at this point, you know, this, is, this is what I want to do. Um, because, yeah, I mean, based on your description of everything, you're perfect for the role. Thank there wouldn't you. be any reason I why. It. You know, <laughs> take I take that from a, I'm a hiring manager. Yeah. I'm a hiring manager at, at my company, and, and if I was running that property management company, I'd certainly hire you. Thank oh, you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone okay. else have any questions? Well, you know what? We'll let you go right into your okay, closing then. Okay, yeah. um, So to close, um, with the property that I was at, um, well, when I first moved in, um, in the beginning of my story, um, essentially the staff just made me feel like I was one of their children in the sense that they were always looking out for us. They were always making sure that me and my friends and my siblings were always, you know, not doing bad things because, you know, you do bad things when you're kids. <laughs> um, making sure that we're always on the right track and just making us feel comfortable in just going in and hanging out at the office. And with that environment, that's really what just prompted me to go into the property management field. Great job. Thank you. Good.